In today's video, we're going to take a look at a new camp share from the folks at uh, Dura Lounge. That's what's coming up next here on Survival on Purpose. Welcome back to Survival on Purpose, your home for information and gear reviews related to camping, survival, and general preparedness for regular folks. My name is Brian. Thanks for joining me. We got the sun all on the side of my head. Well, either way, you may know that I'm a scoutmaster, and I've spent a pretty good bit of time uh, hanging around different campfires over the last several decades. And something that's always good to have is a really comfortable camp chair. Well, the folks at Dura Lounge were kind enough to send me a few of these so I could check them out and show them to you and to sponsor this video. So we're going to talk about that in this video, and we're going to actually take a look at some other couple of other very common style camp chairs and see how, how the new Dura Lounge chair stacks up against them. So uh, let's get to it. So here is the Dura Lounge camp chair. Uh, this chair weighs 2.2 pounds, features an aluminum shock corded pole set. It's all together. Um, Oxford polyester seat. It has two built-in mesh pockets, one on each side. And it has a 300 pound capacity, which I think is pretty cool. It's also available in red or blue. And we'll take a look at the blue one in just a minute. And the uh, price for this chair on Amazon is $43.99. But if you check in the description for this video below, through April the 30th, 2018, you'll be able to save 10% on this using a coupon code that will be, again, in the description. So let me grab the blue one, and we'll, uh, I'll show you how, how this thing goes together and how, how easy it is to set up. And then we'll compare this chair to a couple of other very popular style chairs, talk about the pros and cons, and um, wrap this thing up. And also, once we get this together, I'll give you my number one reason why I really like this chair. So anyway, what I thought we'd do is, uh, like I like to do, we're gonna do this just straight out of the box just to see how doofus proof it is. Um, if, if you never never mess with it, so this is right out of the box, never been opened, open it up. You see it comes um, a pretty nice size package here. Definitely um, maybe 15 inches by six inches square, something like that. So we'll just go ahead and uh, got a nice big zipper so it's really easy to get in and out of, out of the bag and just undo it, take the bag there. It's got a, a handle on each end of the bag. Just unroll this thing, and you got you got basically two two parts. You got the pole set, and you got the uh, the seat fabric. So um, take the rubber band off for now, and then just uh, I wish I could say you could just throw this down and it would uh, set itself up, but it won't. But it but it does go together pretty pretty easily though. You don't have to expend a whole lot of effort. You just uh, kind of make sure that everything's inserted into the its uh, corresponding receptacles and slots here. And uh, again, everything is shock corded, so it all stays together nice and neat. Once you get it in, then you got basically four feet. Those are going on the ground. <laughs> then you got two tall backs, and then you got the front, the front set, which is down here. So uh, what they recommend to do is to start with the back. So if you look, you can see, you can tell which one's the back, because it says Dura Lounge right up here on the pillow, and it's got these long sleeves on back. So you want to just go ahead and insert uh, make sure you get it right. So the one on the left, the left back, just insert this into that sleeve. And the first time you do it, it's going to be kind of flattened out. After you do it a couple of times, it'll, it'll kind of get a little memory and have a pocket for you there, but it's not that big a deal. Just slide it on down, all the way down, and you're good. Same thing on the other one. And you have to put a little tension on it just because of the, uh, the uh, tension in the system itself. But once you get it in there, Again, like it's brand new, so it's going to have a little bit, but there you go. So just slide it down all the way. So they're both down as far as they'll go. Make sure the poles are locked. Then just go to the bottom, and you got little pockets here on the bottom also. Do the same thing. You have to kind of grab this, this thick part and just stretch it a little bit to get it on there. And there you go. Not a big deal. Same thing on the other one. Very similar to most of the lightweight backpacking style chairs. I like to take and just kind of put your finger in it, kind of shape that hole for a minute so you don't have to fight with it and slide it right on and there you go it is set up so we'll set that aside kind of look see how it compares to other couple of couple of other common style chairs okay but as you can see the dura lounge chair is a full size very tall chair it's available in red or blue first of all probably the most common type camp chair um, in existence is the old standard folding camp chair with arms and then another common style is the small fold-up backpacking chair. 
This kind is generally going to weigh anywhere between three and five pounds. And this one weighs about one pound, nine ounces. This particular brand, I don't know if they even have it anymore, but it's a very common style backpacking style chair. Let me just show you a couple things that I think set the uh, Dura Lounge apart from the other one. So I'm going to get up so I can do that. You know, I really hate to get up. This thing is comfortable. Okay. First of all, just going to show you. Here is, here's the Dura Lounger. Okay. Now, <laughs> this out of the way back here and yeah here is the other one the little uh the little smaller standard backpacking style so you can see my butt is about i don't know six inches off the ground in this thing my knees are way up here just uh i mean it's okay oh gosh hold on, hold on, hold on. i'm gonna fall on my phone <laughs> so <laughs> there by the way is another problem with this little chairs a lot of these little chairs let me just show you real quick can you see the back legs of this thing back here they uh uh, they, uh, they went in the ground up to about right here. Um, so, cause they're just, um, and this one actually came with a little rubber feet on, I think, but over the course of a couple of years, um, they have got stuck in the ground, sunk in the ground and, and pulled out and gone. So they're buried somewhere in various places across the Southeast United States. On the other hand, the Dura Lounger, they've got these feet with these big, um, kind of circles around them to keep them from doing exactly what the other one did. Um, and these things, are, the other one had some feet on it. They were just rubber tips that were slid on like a crutch tip. Um, these are, are fast. I guess they're glued on or epoxied on or something. They're not coming off. Another key difference is the height of the back. If I can sit in this without it poking in the ground too much. So you can see this, there it goes. I can feel it going in. This standard one comes up to about, I don't know, about right here on my back. And literally it's already poked in the ground. Let me show you pull that thing out and uh whereas the deer lounger actually comes all the way up to the back of my head and it's got kind of a nice a nice pillow there so i mean this thing is it, it really really is comfortable let me just show you my number one reason for really liking this chair why this is um going to become my new go-to camping chair so here we are with the standard camp chair and you'll notice that this is very, very um, difficult for me to get comfortable and play the guitar. It just really makes it really hard to play the guitar in this chair. This is a out of tune guitar chair. What about the standard backpacking chair? Well, it really feels kind of kind of bunched up here. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of crowded and I'm about on the ground and I feel like any minute I'm about to fall over and that's not good. So, ugh, man, it really is low. What about the Dura Lounge? Why, looky there. Wow, this may be my favorite camp chair ever. Seriously, one of the things I like to do when I'm hanging out around the, the old campfire is to occasionally you know, p play some songs on the old guitar here. And um, it really is impossible in the uh, standard one piece, you know, fold up camp chair. And then the really low backpacking chairs, they, they make it hard. It's hard to play the guitar when your knees are at chin level. So the Dura Lounger is taller, has not nothing on the sides to uh, get in the way of the guitar. Um, and it's just plain stinking comfortable. And finally, another thing I really like about the Dura Lounge chair is the fact that it's, it's really easy to get it back in the bag. No twisting, cramming, trying to, trying to figure it out. It's really simple. Let me just show you how to do that. So, uh, again, it's got a great big huge zipper on the front of the bag. Just uh, go ahead and kind of pull it off the corners. Bottom, I like to do the bottom corner first, then just pull the uh, top poles out. And if the... Uh, like so and there's one there's two set that aside for a minute go ahead and take your poles apart and they're shot corded like i said so they're going to stay together i don't really um take the uh center ones off of here i just don't find that that's a bit that's a, a that big a help with it just kind of get the other one folded up somewhere out of the way like so then obviously you want to make it as compact as possible but it's not that difficult to do. Just kind of like so, and then one more like so, 
So then we got them. <laughs> this is the doofus moment of the video here. So we got to like so. Just put that in the bag. Good night. You can wrap them up in the in the seat and all that, but I just like to do this separately. Just put those in the bag like so. There they are. That, that way you're done with that. Now I just take and fold this up from the pillow side. So fold it. I like to just do it that way. It seems to fold better. Tried a couple different ways. So just fold it up like so. And then once you get to wherever the ears, the ears, so to speak, the pockets, just fold those in. And uh more time like so you got it something like that and then basically you just uh i've got it a little long but it'll, it'll, it'll get it get in there did a whole lot better with the blue one but either way it's, it's got enough enough space in the bag it's just not that difficult to do really pretty easy and there you go so whether you like sitting around the campfire playing guitar or maybe you just want to go to sporting events or go anywhere you need a comfortable, portable, um, very simple, easy to use chair, you might want to check out the Dura Lounger. Again, you can save 10% uh, by using the coupon code that's going to be in the description below. Which can thanks to the folks at Dura Lounger for sending me these so I can show them to you and for sponsoring this video. And as always, thank you for watching Survival on Purpose. I put out a brand new video every Friday, every Saturday, and very often random videos throughout the week. You can check out a new one right over there. If you're not subscribed, please click right down there in the corner and subscribe. And click that little bell when you get there and you get notified when I put out the new videos. I really appreciate the support. Once again, my name is Brian. You're watching Survival on Purpose. Remember, survival's not an accident. So be prepared. I'll see you next time.